anymore. It's the Alzheimer's, guys. Doesn't matter. Let's get started. Winners of this will, of course, go against Evil back in the winner's bracket. And let's start from Paddle's point of view. He's getting the Mega... <laughs> he spots space there. This is so good for him. He can get both the major items, but now he needs weapons. He can actually get a yellow as well. So... What did the base get out of this rotation? A single yellow. And weapons, of course. And uh, Pavel is really wishing he had the railgun right now. But he can't really get it. And yeah. Pavel is just gonna focus on cycling the items, and soon he's gonna be able to get the railgun as well. And that's gonna be after his mega, most likely. Or no, he's actually gonna make sure he cycles all the items. No matter if he has a railgun or not. Gonna go around to the red. And base realized that is not a safe place to be in. He has to leave the item. I was expecting Pavel to come in a bit later, so... Pavel getting a first frag now. And... Uh, hopefully he can uh, finally go for the railgun soon. There we go. You did it. You're a champ. Two hundred, two hundred in Pavel, and now base needs to, he needs to start landing some sick rails, or alternatively start playing passive enough so he can actually try and build a stack without taking damage. I really like how Pavel is using those shards as well to make sure he stays on two hundred health. I mean, not shards, but five bubbles rather. Close enough. Yeah, Bates is not doing too bad, not exposing himself, and there we go. Now he starts with the rails, lands two rails in a row. This might be the fight that uh, can turn around again. Landing two rails on an item, that is a very good start. But uh, he needs to keep up with the damage, hopefully. Bates has timing for the Mega, and there we go, Pavel knowing exactly where Bates is. Looking for the one rail angle, not finding it. And uh, Powell getting sold back to 200-200. Base continues to play passive, so those two rails before and the red, they are nothing anymore. They're completely irrelevant. And Powell is just gonna be happy cycling the items. He's uh, kind of extending a little bit out of his path, trying to find... Uh, Trying to find some extra damage on a uh, base because, of course, if you're in control and just sighting the items, you're gonna stay at 200 to 200, but your opponent can come in behind and look at that fight. Base is left low, he's gonna be able to get the mega health, and we can see how well stacked base was actually in that fight. That's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for his own stack to build up before picking the fight, and that was not bad for base. And look at that dire dragon on the lower yellow. and. This is exactly what the base is good at, hitting these crucial rails. And there we go, able to get his first frag, but he's gonna be in a tiny bit of trouble now. He needs some items, but nothing is spawning soon. Able to get himself back to one higher health is a good start. And uh, Pavel don't have anything to fight for this red either. So it's gonna be a split with those major items. Nice bit of damage by Pavel though. The LG from base, it is heavy, but it's gotta be Pavel who's getting this red armor, and Pavel just base expecting Pavel to just jump over there. Not gonna happen. A single rail would have really been helpful there, but not gonna happen. Instead, probably getting both the major items. Nice right there by base. armor up and yeah what base is doing he's just going for the plane damage he's not even trying to go for the item doesn't make sense ok 
can see those uh, spots where base is standing, like uh, next to the window, that's where you can actually hear the mega health, so he just wanted the timing for the item. And that is a very nice play of him. He's, he should have the idea of every single item on the map, pretty much. And now he can go get a, a yellow armor and get some bubbles, and uh, hopefully he can uh, prepare himself to fight for his mega. But Pavel is playing aggressive, so not gonna happen in this rotation. Base playing super careful, waiting with his rocket launcher out. But uh, Pavel is not gonna attack him, and this time Base did not hear the sound for the mega. But hopefully, he can uh, kind of approximate it. This hasn't really been able to deal any kind of heavy damage on any item lately, so this this is kind of hard for him to get back. He can't really force any good fights on the items when he hasn't dealt the first damage. Looks like he's already waiting on the mega. This might be bad for him. There you go, power dropping. Up. Holy crap! That LG, that is massive. This this was amazing fight from base. Like, when you're standing on the item waiting like that, you don't expect that to happen, but base is a beast, he makes it work. And uh, soon enough, he should be able to get the next frag. Going for some aggressive moves like that rail, but that is not gonna land. And uh, Pavel able to escape, and he's still left alive, and he's still in the lead. Plenty of time left, though. There we go, base playing a bit aggressive on the Mega, doesn't want to give away the item, and he misses that crucial rail, and this is gonna be yet another frag for Pavel. That was the last rail, that was the important shot. And yeah, Pavel knows how to play against base, it seems. He's, uh, he's playing well enough in the control, he's not letting base uh, do any sort of free damage. Which is exactly what he should be able to do with his good aim. He was playing out of his mind earlier today, but uh, right now not that good. Yeah, he needs to be a bit more consistent. I mean, I, you saw that uh, you saw that game against Agent when he was playing on Elder. He was playing super slow and passive out of control for a long time. And he was able to win it 6-0. But uh, Agent was not putting on proper pressure on him, I guess. Nice rail there by base. Three rails in a row. Four rails in a row. That kind of fight can turn around again. Base still able to get the red, but he is going to gonna go down. And now base needs to convert like crazy to make things happen. Two frags in two minutes, it's more than doable. And uh, with a player of base's caliber, yeah, let's see what's gonna happen. I'm having a hard time find the, finding those angles against Pavel though. That is the most difficult part about getting back. Oh, he's, he guessed right, he was looking at that area all the time. Nice job landing on one rail. Now I'm gonna get that red armor and try and find Pavel. One minute left. Oh, Pavel doesn't have much at all to work with. There we go, the 50 bottle did not save him. And base, only one frag behind. Now it is the moment of truth. Where is Pavel? He's gonna get caught around the 50 bubble. This is so good for base. Pavel left, less, left solo, but it. Oh man, base is waiting for the double back. Because, you know, sometimes just uh, following our opponent's footstep is the best thing to do. And uh, Pavel not going for it though. Base going here for the chase. Look at that. We do have a tight game. Landing this last rail. <laughs> this might be another frag for base. He's gonna go up the jump pad. This is risky moves. But base Pavel doesn't have the weapons, so 15 seconds left in the game. Base has no health, but that 25 will help him a little bit. 
And now he just needs to stay alive for 10 seconds. Oh my god, Paolo is going for the chase. Base has no health. This is such a close moment. And looks like Base is able to do it. And he is gonna be able to take the win against Pavel. And he is gonna be going against Evil next. What a game. What a game. <laughs> that was so close. Very nice job from Base. And very well played by Pavel. He was 